I have heard it said that forklift drivers don't like puns because they find them unpalatable. And that is how I would sum up extreme forklifting too. Extreme Forklifting 2 is a second iteration mobile to PC port. Whilst its graphics are initially pleasing to the eye, it quickly becomes apparent that there is a distinct lack of any depth applied to the graphics environment and gameplay. At the time of making this video, Extreme Forklifting 2 would cost you just £1.59 from the Steam library. A pretty small price then. But does it even have enough content to justify that? The game begins with your forklift driving character, a female character no less, at level 0 and in default rags. Speaking of rags, your character will never, ever fall out of the forklift. Ever. Your objective then is to move a small selection of pallet types which consists of parcels, crates, bottles, animal boxes, furniture and some oddly oversized forks. Pallets are randomly spawned across the arena and regardless of the type of cargo that you're moving, the physics, restrictions and fragility will remain largely the same. The forklift's handling is somewhat twitchy, but it takes only a few minutes to get the general idea and restore some element of control to proceedings. Most steering wheels are also supported, which is actually a massive plus for the game, and it does a lot to really boost the level of engagement, or at least it would do if you could rely on the camera to work in your favour. The controls are basic. For example, there is oddly no tilt function for the forklift, and overall the controls are functional yet playful. The initial arena offers mild inclines and obstacles which are widely spaced and easy to navigate, but there are two other areas which you might not immediately locate. The inner warehouse, which is a slightly tighter affair with the added difficulty of shelving, and the forklift assault course, which is located on the other side. The assault course is actually pretty straightforward and relatively easy to navigate, with the exception of certain areas which are somewhat buggy, and they will repeatedly cause you to drop off the edge of some of the higher platforms. The game rewards you after multiple drops, with small and insignificant bonus features, like a sombrero or go faster paint jobs for your ride. And that is about it. This game is not a simulator, more's the pity, and as such, the novelty of wheel spins and donuts wears off pretty quickly, especially when you accompany it with the somewhat grating soundtrack. The thought of going back to this title ever again is one I simply do not relish. Incidentally, this game is free for mobile and the same price as the PC version in order to remove the ads. My recommendation then would be to play the free version first and see if you really want this game in your life on a permanent basis. My name's Simu UK. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more, then subscribe. Until next time, take good care of yourselves. Goodbye for now. Thanks.